Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, my name is Mal and I'm the owner and maker of Made by Manny and Mal. In today's tutorial, we're going to be making a glitter geode tumbler, but instead of making it like the regular geode style, I decided to make it really big. So we're going to be making an extra large geode today. It's going to take up the entire surface of the cup basically. And I really, really love how it turned out and I hope that you do too. If you like the video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. And if you are not already subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below as well. I'll have everything I'm using listed down below in the description box, as well as a few discount codes for you and links to our Facebook group, Patreon group, all of our social media pages and all of that good stuff. So be sure to check that out. I hope you love the video. Let's go. I'm going to be using a 20 ounce skinny straight um, powder coated black cup from Craft Haven. If you don't have one of these, you can just prep your cup and paint it whatever base color you'd like, and then you'll be ready to go. So for this geode, I wanted to make it take up the entire space on the cup. I wanted two really big like cutouts for this geode. So instead of using painter's tape like I would with a regular size geode, I'm going to use a piece of transfer tape. This is a square of Silhouette brand transfer tape that I got in a like variety pack. And I'm just going to use it basically as a template to cut my shapes out of. If you don't want to do this, you can absolutely use painter's tape. But if you're going to do a geode this size, you're going to use a lot of painter's tape. So I just cut my transfer tape piece down to size and I'm going to apply it to the cup just like a full vinyl wrap. If you don't want to use transfer tape, you can use like a sheet of regular vinyl that you have. If you have removable, stencil, whatever you have that's big enough um, that will cover the entire surface of your cup will work just fine. I don't really use this transfer tape, so I figured this would be the perfect opportunity to use it. So once the transfer tape has been applied to my cup, I'm going to take a paint marker. It does not matter what color. And I'm just going to roughly sketch out and kind of plan what the shape of this is going to be. And remember, I'm doing two large ones. So I'm going to draw the first one coming up the cup from the bottom. And I'm drawing these really, really big. I want them to take up a lot of space. So then once I've got that one down, I'm going to rotate my cup and then draw basically the exact same shape going down from the top of the cup. Now this does not have to be a perfect sketch. This is just to give us an idea of kind of what it's going to look like and our sizing and all of that. Once I've got that drawn, I'm going to take my craft knife and cut around those rough shapes. You don't have to follow your lines exactly. It's just a guide. So if you feel inclined to go a different way or turn your knife a certain way to get a different shape, definitely do it. This is all really rough and organic, so it does not need to be perfect. Once I've done all of my cutting, I'm going to remove the negative space transfer tape, if that makes sense. So I'm not removing the two shapes where our like all of our glitters are going to go. I'm moving all of that tape in between those two shapes. So now I should be left with just the two big areas that we're going to go in and glitter later. I applied some blue painters tape to the top and bottom rim of my cup because the transfer tape was lifting in a few places. That's the only reason I didn't have, you don't have to do this if you're using like removable vinyl or stencil vinyl. This transfer tape just kind of was picking up in a few areas and I didn't want any of the base glitter or glitter glue or anything to get stuck under there and then mess up my shape. So I'm just taking the extra step to seal everything up. And once I've got that all taken care of, I'm going to go right into glittering my base. We're going to apply glitter to this outer portion first. And then once that's all applied and sealed, we'll go in and do the detail of our geode. For this base glitter, I'm using a mix of Midnight and Firefly, both from PDB. The mix is mostly Midnight with just a little bit of Firefly to give it a little bit of extra sparkle. To apply this glitter, I'm using my favorite thing, the Crystallac Glitter Glue, and I'm just brushing a thin layer all over that exposed area of the cup. You can see here too that I am not really being super careful. I did get some glitter glue on the stencil part, but that's what it's there for to help us keep these lines straight. 
So don't worry about applying this perfectly or being too meticulous with your glue application. And then I'm just going to cover that entire surface with this glitter mixture. I accidentally contaminated this just a teeny bit with a little bit of red. I think it was Scorpion from PDB. So there's a tiny little red reflect in here as well, which I think makes it really cool and pretty unique. Once I've got the glitter applied, I'm going to aggressively tap off any excess. I'm shaking the cup around, getting rid of any of that glitter that's not actually adhered to the cup. And then I'm going to let this dry a full two hours before I go in and seal everything. Now, sealing this portion of your glitter is very, very important. You don't want any of this to move or contaminate any of your other colors, especially if you're using a dark color like I am. So I'm going to seal with the Crystal Act Glitter Glue. If you don't have this or you don't like using it, you can use Mod Podge, you can use um, like clear spray, whatever sealer you prefer, but just make sure that you don't skip that step. Then after I've got the sealer on, I'm going to remove all of the tape, all of the transfer tape, everything from the cup, and we should just be left with our glittered section and we'll be ready to go in and do the actual detailing of the geode. I let this dry at least two hours. I think I actually waited overnight and now it is fully sealed. That glitter is not going anywhere and we can go in and start to apply all of the other glitter colors. I'm using the glitter glue for this entire process. I just poured some into a little medicine cup and I'm using this small detailing paintbrush that I got in a pack, I think at Walmart. And I'm just painting a very rough, irregular shape, just following the curve of the template that we drew out in the beginning. A very, very thin line. And now I'm gonna go in with my first glitter color, which is Prestige from Peachy Olive Glitters. And I'm just going to apply it everywhere I put that glitter glue down. And then once I've got it done on this side, I'm going to repeat the exact same process on the other side. So these two geode cutouts are going to look identical. I'm going to use the same colors in the same order. So everything matches and looks cohesive. I'm tapping off the excess in between each color, and I'm also brushing off the excess with this clean, soft bristled brush, just to make sure we don't get any glitter in the paintbrush that I'm using to apply the glitter glue, just to keep everything clean as we go. The next color I'm using is Ophelia from Peachy Olive Glitters. This is a really pretty like champagne gold. And I'm repeating the exact same process. I'm taking the glitter glue, going in a really organic, irregular shape, and just kind of following the flow of what I've cut out. Your shapes or your glitter glue lines can be as thick or as thin as you want them. They don't all have to be the same size. If you want one line to be thicker and one to be thin, you can totally do that. That's the beauty of doing these is that you can do literally whatever you want. So now applying the next color, we're going to use Saros from PDB. And as you can see here, I'm really getting into all of those little nooks and crannies to keep this irregular shape going. I don't want to end up with these like smooth lines anywhere. I really want those rough, rugged edges because this is literally meant to look like rock. So keep it rough and try not to make it too, too perfect. So then after I went in with Saros, I'm going in with another color. And what I'm doing here, you can see that I left a little gap in between Saros and the next glitter glue line that I'm putting down. And that's because the color I want to use next to Saros is a lighter glitter color. And you want to lay down all of your darkest glitters first, especially if they're a fine cut. So this color that I'm laying down is Expo from Peachy Olive Glitters, and it's an extra fine like matte gray color. Color. And so if I had put down the lighter color that's going to go in between those two now, and then I had gone in with Expo, we could have had a big contamination problem, which I don't want. So I just skipped a little space and I'll go back in at the end to fill all of that in. I didn't do this in any other area of the geode. I just did it next to where I was going to place Expo because it's an extra fine dark color. This would be probably important if you are using lighter colors, if you have white next to a dark color, things like that. You wanna do all of those darker colors first, especially if you're going to use white. So once I got all my colors laid down here, you can see one side of the geode is filled up already. And then the other side, I have a whole bunch of space left. So I'm just going to do one extra color to fill in that middle space. This thick color that I just put down is Man of Steel from PDB. It's really beautiful and it's kind of like got these shapes in it and it's chunky and it's perfect for the middle of a geode. 
So then after I've got that laid down, I'm gonna go back in and fill in that blank spot that we left with Saros and Expo. And this is a super fine champagne color. So I'm filling that space in and then I'm going to go back to that big space that we have and just fill the entire thing in with glitter glue. This is going to be like the big kahuna of our <laughs> of our geode here. And I'm taking Shattered Opal from Chase Ray Creations and filling up that entire spot. And this is going to be like the deep center of the geode. So I let this dry overnight and then did three coats of clear spray to seal the glitter in. And then I did three thin coats of epoxy. So our cup is totally smooth. No contamination happened and we're ready to move on to the next step. Now this next step is what, in my opinion, brings this entire thing together. We're going to take some acrylic paint pens and outline each of our shapes. The colors do not have to match your glitter colors. As you can see here, I used a bronze color on that shattered opal. You can pick whatever colors you want. I just picked a few that I thought went with my whole color palette here. And I'm just going shape by shape, outlining with my paint pens. Most of these pens are from Arteza. And then I have one that I got from PDB, the rose gold that I'm using. And I'm just taking this really slow, just drawing these lines around my shapes. Now this is the perfect opportunity if your lines weren't super clean or if you had a little bit of movement in your glitter, you can really clean it up by just drawing your shapes right over that and no one will ever know that you messed up. <laughs> so just take your time with this and have fun, pick colors that you like. This is what really makes this pop. So I'm going to repeat the exact same color pattern on the other side of the geode. And once we're finished, I'm going to let this dry overnight and then go right into epoxy. I did not seal this with anything. You can, if you wanted to seal your paint pens in with like clear matte spray or something, you can. I didn't, I just went straight into my final coats of epoxy. I did two final coats of epoxy and once they were cured, this cup is all finished. I am officially obsessed with geodes. I love making them. I think they're so much fun. There are so many different color combinations you can do. You can go in any direction you want with these and they are absolutely beautiful. I especially love the extra large geo that we did here. If you like the video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. And if you are not already subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button as well. I upload brand new videos every single Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Love you. Bye. <laughs>